Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Olympus Sky and uh, I mean it's been a while as usual um, It's time for a really interesting video here and um, Especially off the last two videos we just had to do it especially the, the one about chemtrails and everything uh, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm not going to become like a chemtrail channel I think there's enough information out there Be sure to check out the description in there I had a link in there with even more patterns that you can uh, check out by using Google Patents, so uh, just, just saying. Um, but yeah, you know, let, let's get into this. Uh, we're, we're covering phobos this time, and I think yeah, I know. I know a lot of people ask me, could, "Could you please do phobos and everything?" But it's it's not as easy as it seems. I mean, we all know that there's something strange going on with uh, with phobos, and they definitely did their best to hide stuff. So I finally found this image here. I was working previously on this one, but you know, I decided I can't work like this. Uh, it's, it's, this image is actually really stupid. I mean, it looks really nice and all, but I can't work with it. And that's the end of the story. I won't be able to tell you exactly if something is something. And i rather like sh show you a couple of anomalies that really, you know, make you question. So uh, let's jump into this. As usual, you got kind of uh, the uh, overbrightened part here, the dark part here, and I try to do my best to um, to equalize it as much as possible. Now, uh, forgive me if I make, might make a mistake here and there, but I uh, got to get used to this again as well. Uh, I haven't uh, did, did haven't done that much lately, but uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to cover Phobos. I've been checking out uh, this image as well earlier. But, uh, you know, it's something happened, something snapped to my perspective, and it's definitely all about pers perspective. Uh, it really changes the game, so yeah, as you can see, I've been a bit busy here. And a couple of things, I might just, just jump into this one, and maybe flip the image or not, well, for, for the time being. So, um, there is definitely, I found like a really small village, or I don't know how big it is, because, you know, uh, size is relative, and... I can't confirm uh, the size of that NASA or anyone else gives. So, um, you never know. I mean, uh, I've said it before, big people can make small structures and uh, small people can make big structures. I mean, uh, we're pretty small compared to the pyramids of Giza, you know. Uh, so, so scale is, really isn't the issue. Um, I'm, I'm repeating this because I might like... New, um, new people might find my channel for the first time for this video. Um, you always have to consider those things. But yeah, I mean, um, I actually thought honestly that after uploading the chemtrail video, I thought I might actually lose subscribers. But apparently I gained like 20 more. So welcome to the channel. Always uh, nice to have you here. Now let me set this up. This time I didn't forget to uh, <laughs> create a brush layer like I always uh, seem to forget. Uh, there's two pixels. Um, let me see. Yeah, let's check out. All right, let's go back to this layer. Got my brush layer set up here. Now there are a couple of things that uh, that I noticed very early on when I opened this image. There's definitely something here, but it's uh, it is vague, and there's definitely something going on. But I wouldn't be able to tell you for sure. Also, this one kind of uh, looked interesting. Now, what did I do? Well, the exposure 100% there. What's going on? Oops. Well, now I got it. <laughs> Well, awkward mistake, always going to make a mistake again before I start. All right, we're ready. There's something here that, and you can see it actually goes down. And it kind of follows this line here. And it almost seems like there's something parallel here. But, you know, it's it's really vague. I'm going to actually flip the picture for this this part or just go straight directly down. Um, yeah, let's just go here before going further. They are literally like quite a lot of 90 degree angles here and, and I find it quite strange to see and it's definitely vague I mean I wish that they would give us something better now we'd start I mean for example this thing here yeah, wrong layer again so yeah like I said may I really have to get used to this and you can see this I mean uh, should I flip the picture? why not I'm, I'm basically uh, time to flip the picture now hold on, let me uh, remove this. I'm really clumsy, it seems. Uh, canvas rotation, counterclockwise, 90 degrees. And I'll probably get lost. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, 
All right. I haven't checked it actually in, uh, in the uh, flip mode here. But now you can actually see it just a bit better now. Let's let's zoom in. Now this that's definitely not the um, village I'm talking about. I put something like that in the title, and uh, we'll see. You can you can see this. I mean, it's like there's something here, but uh, it's a bit vague. But I'll look at this one. It's it's pretty interesting to look at this. I mean, it it like half of a crater, and then like really interesting shape at least I mean uh, we're still on Phobos so you don't know what to expect there's also a little small crater here that I really find interesting because it has some uh, interesting shapes here and look at this here that goes like down but when you look closer I'll zoom in even more you can see that there's actually another black circle here and it's kind of like look at this and then it goes like that Right, so let me zoom out. So I don't know, but I found that quite an interesting crater. I mean, literally, it seems like damn boom is going down and then 90 degrees to the right. But um, yeah, let's get to the city. I think I'll flip it back now, but this time, yeah, I'll definitely do that before I start getting more confused. Uh, image rotation. Let's go. All right. Let's go down. And I don't know, I'm not sure if I should be. <clears throat> so actually what will happen is, is I'm looking at these ridges, you know, like usually you see them on, on Phobos. I don't think a lot about it. And you think, you know, it's it's like we don't know basically what happened there, but, but they are there, obviously for natural causes. Um, so I went over it. I was trying to equalize the image so I could get just a bit more out of it. And what happened, I started to look at the ridges and I was thinking more in 3D. And those aren't actually going down. They are actually like standing up. Now why am I telling you this? Now let's go here. This is actually where, where the stuff is located here. And the first thing that really caught my attention was um, this little 90 degree angle here. So that was interesting and a good indication here. Um, there seem to be like horizontal lines here. Like aligned, like, um, yeah, I mean, aligned. That's uh, the proper way of uh, explaining this. But, um, you know, I was thinking about it. I was looking at these lines where it's normally like going down. But when you think about it, look at this closely because you need to um, look at the details. I mean, the details are very important because you won't be able to make out of this like anything. And now let me give you an example. You've probably seen it before. But, um, you know, this is a city and this is, you know, so you can do anything with Photoshop. I mean, Photoshop does make a difference. I got a uh, nice picture there. I'll post it on Google Plus and you can see it's quite, quite, a, quite the impact, basically. I don't remember if I ever posted it on Google Plus, but please do follow me the enhanced version. You'll find it on Google Plus. And I haven't even inverted this image. Hmm. I'll have to check that out later, but uh, let's get back here. And i show you what I mean. Now you can see that this, you can see some pixels here, you can see a shadow, so definitely it's standing out of the ground. Now what, what am I talking about? Now when you look at this, this is actually um, kind of scraped off, like like an indent or something. And we go here, this is not an indent, this is actually stuff sticking out of the ground and it's all aligned to each other. You can s literally see here the shadow, just look, just, just look here. There's a shadow here, and here's the stuff above. Here's the shadow, and here's the stuff above. So it's it almost seems like those lines are going somewhere. Now when I look at this, let me zoom out, this might be a bit frustrating, is I'm just seeing a city here, especially also this little thing here. Now I was looking at craters, comparing them and everything. It's, it's not that clear, but uh, let me draw it out for you. You see a circle here, right? And then, then kind of the center of the crater. So, when you look at the bottom here, there is some pixels here as well. It actually, I'll draw it out for you, it looks like a cylinder. Now that is pretty interesting, considering we have a 90 degree angle right here. You see where I'm going here. So, what do you think? And definitely let me know in the, in the comment section because uh, 
Well, I'm a bit rusty, definitely, and I could use some uh, useful comments there. Uh, let me know what you uh, you have found or I forgot to, uh, to talk about, basically. But there's a lot more here, now let me... That's why. See, now, now you can see it a bit clearer, maybe. Let's give you a quick view of this one. Usually I don't uh, provide, I think I'll provide it with, uh, with some extra brightness and contrast on my Google Plus. So yeah, what area didn't I cover? I mean, look at this. I think definitely when, when you think about it, look at it, this whole area is actually some kind of city area. And what do you think? I mean, look at this. It goes like this. Not two parallel lines. Look, look at here. Something is definitely sticking out here. Now we look at here. We got some shadow here, right? That means that this kind of square piece is actually standing up. It's quite mind-boggling, but you ha really have to work on the uh, on perspective more than uh, than on anything else. I mean, when you look at this, or we'll grab it, it actually goes down, and not many pixels here. But you can see it's it's actually standing out of the ground. It's not like lying on the ground, but it's it's coming out of the ground. It really kind of resembles like a building. And like I said earlier, you really have to take closer to pay close attention. Why is it selecting both layers every time? <laughs> I never had that before. It it is sticking out of the ground. So it's it's not the common ridge we, we we're looking at here. It's this one's actually going into the ground. And it's it's pretty interesting. <laughs> Definitely, if you will find that on Earth, I mean, all these patterns here, all those shapes, which are extremely interesting here, is uh, you definitely say, well, we uncovered an old village. Also, there's something here I was working with, you know, still talking about perspective, is this kind of disc like sticking out of the ground. And I was like, all right, let's 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 take it take a deep look here. Um. I might actually do that on the different layer here and just start and uh, just just work my way up here and you will see that that your perspective on this area will start to change slowly and I really want you to to not like look at an image and just go over it and start using sharpening this and that um, like randomly you just need to look for some interesting uh, parts and then like like Literally, I'm like leaving it like this, and then I'll take like five minutes to look at this area and just think about that weird disc here sticking out of the ground. And I'm thinking, all right, shadow here, go step by step, and then eventually it will actually become something different. Now, let me draw it out for you. Now, I know this is completely destroyed, so keep that in mind. You're we not looking for perfectly new buildings. I mean, some people really think about think that when clicking on a video about space and like expect. A brand new Porsche or brand new building with high resolution pictures. Um, well, NASA is just you know, uh, marketing it the wrong way because you're not giving us high resolution pictures. Uh, if you have seen the pictures from uh, ISRO, uh, yeah, it's, it, it is disappointing. But uh, so this is definitely going up, right? You can definitely say that because you can see here it has a shadow, so it's going up. Now by this shadow we can say all right we got a shadow here so what i'm boxing off here is basically possibly another wall who knows what i this is really frustrating i don't know what let me see i don't know what am i doing <laughs> might be pressing something wrong here but this is pretty cool because and then you got some kind of platform here in the middle it could be some kind of destroyed building so what I did next is, I don't know if I exactly use sharpening here. Let me grab this. Ah, that's really small. I actually think... Now this, no, this is really hard to see. I mean, it, just, just perspective here. I uh, showed you the example just a second ago. Um, these couple of pixels here could be part of this debris field here. This is really interesting. So I hope you've learned something here. And that's definitely a bit uh, kind of the point of this video. Be sure to check out um, the enhanced uh, image here on my Google Plus. If you're there, just follow me. There will be an extra link in the description. So as you can see, 
So yeah, just just let me look because I decided to do this on the fly as well. Um, I just kept discovering different stuff. I mean, this this one is pretty interesting as well. Uh, you can see it it being aligned, and it's definitely sticking out of the ground. And why I say that, I mean, the top here is it's a bit destroyed. We got two lines here that seem like they are parallel or were parallel. Definitely need this area as well here. Something very interesting going on there. But I, you know, I just didn't have enough to work with. And you know, like I said earlier, it is the task here to, to do Phobos. Because, I mean, look at it. It's it's a complete mess. I definitely consider this. It, it has to be something. It has to be something. This thing, what I, which I've pointed out in the beginning of the video, has to be something. No doubt in my mind. And like I've I've never seen like. Just look at this weird shape. Really interesting. It's probably nothing, but nevertheless, I had to point it out. Um, there are some interesting pixels here as well. And you know, kind of kind of those markers here that are telling me that possibly something could be different there. Now it's really if you're working uh, doing this for yourself, it is really um, handy to just draw it out for yourself because, like I said again, I'll say it again, it's it's perspective. This is definitely the most important part there, and definitely the hardest part for me to uh, yeah you know just to put it out on YouTube just to make a point. I mean you can't just jump into it and like expect people to understand and see everything it was actually my biggest mistake when i just started um i was a bit uh, on the wrong path so to say so another kind of leftover pixels here another leftover pixels here all right i think i'll wrap it up and um yeah like i said earlier check out the, um, this region out for yourself it's i don't know look at this uh, just just follow this line goes down you got all right now your audio is working fine I'm just like thinking about it I think yeah I mean it, you gotta say I mean it's a little broken off your PC I mean, this is this is interesting <clears throat> and I hope you found that interesting as well this little box here is, is mind-boggling but uh, thank you very much for your attention as always thank you very much for sticking around and uh, always uh, a big thanks for me for commenting uh, pressing thumbs up and sharing and uh, thank you so much by the way I still haven't uh, nobody from the Netherlands like ask me if um, if he or she wants to go with me to the to the million mask march but uh, you know that that's that's kind of expected <laughs> like i've explained in that video not a lot of dutch people are interested in space and that's just a fact it is uh, unfortunate but at least i got you guys so i'm uh, really happy about that don't need much uh, much more than that and uh, well see you in the next video hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think about this one and uh, like i said i'm i'm sorry you know i, I really wish like i could give you more uh, higher quality images but that's basically it so link in the description uh check the links out thank you very much and um enjoy the rest of your weekend <laughs>